Today we are going to make telekinesis. <laughs> You're going to be able to break and place blocks from really far. I'm thinking something like you have to crouch, you have to have a special helmet on. It's got to have a warm up period where you're like thinking and then you can break the block. We need an event when the user left clicks. Send message, interact event. Boop, interact, perfect. On player toggle sneak. Hopefully we can tell if the user is sneaking using this. You're, you're not sneaking, you're sneaking. You're not sneaking, you're sneaking. That's. That's confusing. It's confusing that it's backward. I think when the player toggles it, it's sending what they last were doing. What I want now is I want to be able to count how long they've been sneaking for. This function runs every tick, and so for every player who is sneaking, we are going to update the time that they sneaked by one tick. Crouch, uncrouch. I sneaked for 23. Crouch, let's do it a little longer this time. Uncrouch. 69, that's working. Now what I want to do is have wherever they're looking, I want it to go until it hits something and I want it to have particles. We have two locations and I want particles on a line between those two locations. We have these this draw particles function that does a bunch of vector calculations and then every half a block, we're gonna spawn a dripping lava particle, at least in theory. Whoa, wait, it did it that time. Okay, it did it. That's it right there. Guys, but it's going to like my feet. Get I location, this is what I want. Look at this, it looks like a laser beam. Let's modify this so that you can only see as far as long as you've been sneaking. However long they've been sneaking, I want it to be correlated with the distance. If I look at something way over here, it's going to take a long time for me to actually begin, like, looking at. And then once you interact, I want that block to break. Raytrace.getHitBlock break naturally. Once they break the block, we want to reset the time that they have been crouching for. Think, think, think. Interact. Boom, and it's gone. No way. Do you see the new follow? That's the new follow right there. Do you see it? Do you see it? Thank you for the follow, XYZ Luna. You made my day. I worked pretty hard on that little animation thing, coding it up. What I want is to calculate how long it's going to take them to break the block and multiply that by the distance, and that's the number of ticks they need in order to do it. Block dot, I think we can do get destroy speed. <gasps> Four. Oh, that's perfect. It worked. Okay. Yes. We calculate how long it would take them to break it and we multiply that by the distance. And if they've sneaked for greater than that amount of time, then we're green. Nice. This works exactly how I wanted it to. I want one more condition to have to be met. I think you have to be wearing a chainmail hat and crouch. This really long line checks if they're wearing a chainmail helmet and if they aren't, then it's not going to let this player use telekinesis. And we're just gonna play for a little bit because I wanna get this world going. This is crazy, guys. Oh, this works so well now. Look at this telekinesis. Like I'm literally using it to defeat the frickin' whatever the fricks. Deleting an alarm block will set off others around it if they are close enough. Yeah, but using the telekinesis, they don't do that. Like, I don't know anything about this dude. <gasps> no! I'm disconnecting. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's 